Hey guys, it's Siege Gaming here. Today we are going to, I'm just going to run you uh, through a quick tutorial on how to install drivers, uh, for firmware, stuff like that. I'm not going to do BIOS today, I will do that in a separate video. But let's just get right into it. So this is mainly going to be for new rigs, uh, maybe you just built a new computer, or maybe you just got a new motherboard, plain out and simple. You're going to make sure you want to do this, it, it really increases the stability of your just whole computer in general it's gonna increase everything that you're gonna download so every little thing that you download tonight or uh, right now will just it'll pretty much fix it up so if you ever have DC problems maybe something like LAN in here will uh, solve it so let's get right into it so Asus you're always gonna want to go to your motherboards website so you can look at any motherboard I have a a Z370E and you want to look up motherboard drivers and then it should bring you to this website and it's going to be you're going to this top one is normally just where you can buy it from so you're going to want to go down one that says drivers and tools so this is my motherboard right here uh, you can register your product for like warranty and stuff like that here um, if you ever need help with anything with your motherboard also you can just call this pretty basic stuff so this BIOS and firmware I am not going to go into this today because it does increase everything. I have I have not done it personally, but my system is still running very smooth. I heard it does help though, so so uh you'll click on this drivers and tools down a little bit and make sure when you go in here let's see if it works. Alright, so Windows ten. I have Windows ten sixty four bit. Um you might run thirty two bit, I don't know. But click whatever one you want. Uh make sure you click the one you're running though because it will affect uh, what, what it's dated and stuff like that. So today I have all of these downloaded so I'm just going to show you a quick little example. Uh, I'll run through all of them but so a VGA is a video graphics adapter. It's mainly just going to increase the performance out of your uh, GPU. So and your audio is going to increase your uh, basically your audio put out from your motherboard so it's games might sound a little bit better. LAN increases your internet so if you use Ethernet this is very important. Um, it it's helped my brother he had a so I just built up a computer and he kept on DCing constantly and I totally forgot to download these um, he's running a Z370A motherboard so uh, we have pretty similar ones but I totally forgot to do I just spaced it but after I downloaded this uh, we had no issues uh, utilities are going to be stuff like RGB um, just small customization to your computer and then wireless it increases uh, maybe your even if you use a Wi-Fi adapter, uh, just a quick little USB, or if you use like a wireless mouse headset, blah blah blah. Uh, chipset, this one's pretty important. Uh, you're gonna want to make sure to do this one. Um, I would do it first, honestly, just to make get make uh, all this go faster. So this improves uh, system stability, and oh, also like all these have like little things that you can read if you want to. But uh, a chipset just basically it makes your computer run smoother it just balances everything out uh... SATA is for your storage so intel rapid storage is super super useful you can go to your settings and find it and it, it basically just gives you room to add drivers and stuff like that uh... bluetooth uh... it's pretty self-explanatory but it kinda makes your bluetooth run smoother and then qualified vendors i do not have this i've heard it's useless same with declaration of conformity so basically what you would do here you would click download and it's going to come up and it's going to say run or open so I'm open that up real quick and we'll see if this one downloads here I don't know if I've downloaded this one but hopefully and this should only ever take a few seconds okay so it's perfect so right here it's uh... it's all these little things don't really ignore it it might get a little blabby uh, but go and go up here and click extract and you're going to go extract all and you don't really need to put this anywhere else it if you don't put it to your desktop because it literally will ruin your desktop it'll, it'll be everywhere so I'll go ahead and extract this and I'll go to this and you'll see all these little things right here and uh, you're going to go down a little bit I'm not going to do this um, but you can either run setup or you can run Asus setup it does not really matter uh, I always just do the first one so you'd go here, uh, it's going to change something on your hard drive. So go ahead and click accept. And this uh, this is totally safe. I mean, it's from the it's from the website themselves. But after this downloads, 
I don't think I've done Bluetooth, so maybe it'll work. Yep. So I just go ahead and go through this little firmware stuff like that. And now installing. And then now this kind of gives me a Bluetooth option. And I'm just going to say no, I will restart my computer later. You can go ahead and restart it right now if you'd like. Uh, I normally just do all of them and then restart at the very end. And that'll work just fine. So I'm going to do no, I will restart my computer later. And then basically that is all that is all you need to know. So that so I just did Bluetooth. So once I restart my computer, it's just going to load up, and it's nothing like really flashy about it. It's just going to pop up and just be there. And after that, you really do not have to worry about it. It's just going to be in your uh, in your folders, or your files down here. So I would not worry about it. And other than that, you guys are all set. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment for any help.